Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play We Happy Few. I'm your host, Brigham Don, and just one second, there we go. Just trying to close a drawer, a drawer very quietly, so I don't have to hear it. Bad joy lately. Oh. Peter, there you are. Why don't you come down and we'll have a chat about loyalty? No, don't be a big girl, the the loud, buddy. I'm just having fun with you, aren't I? Come on down and let's have a laugh. Oh, what's going on here? Is this supposed to fight that guy? There's another one up there. Um, hey, there's some memory here. Swimming. Percy, what are you doing? I'm swimming! Oh, good Christ, where are your clothes? Percy, where are your clothes? So. You may notice that we're not in the exact same spot that we were in where we left off last time. I uh, loaded in the game and this is where it put me, so, um, yeah, that's, that wasn't up to me. I didn't play any without you guys, so y'all aren't missing anything. A proper use of jubilators. Uh, to all employees from Penep Penelope Slug, or Snug, jeez Louise, supervisor. Please note that the proper function of a jubilator is... One, to dispose of downers who have gone on holiday in public. And two, to diffuse airborne joy to citizens who may have forgotten to take their pills. A jubilator is not a mechanical steed for jousting and betting. We're becoming quite short-handed as a result of this tomfoolery, since the cockpit burns up and one jubilator smashes another. They're almost invincible, except for the electrical issue we're working on, but even a rock can be broken by another rock. This further comes to my attention that certain employees attempted to sabotage jubilators to gain advantage in illicit competitions. Perpetrators will be caught, and damage will be docked from their pay. Penelope. P.S. Colony, do not sound the uh, tootlers indoors. It alarms the secretaries. The tootlers. Oh, you're not bloody mule. Pick what you can carry easily. Oh, set up again. That's right, I forgot my inventory is full. I don't want to get rid of my enhanced rocks. Um, I get rid of some rotten food, right? I probably don't need the, uh, I don't need food poisoning, right? There's a front of Colonel Lawrence, I don't know, try it. So it's probably, yeah, food poisoning, they're probably trying to poison him, that sucks. Uh, get rid of all the food poisoning stuff, that'll help. Well, I make jerky with the, uh, oh, this gives you food poisoning? Huh. Well, I've had it before and it didn't, uh... It's not guaranteed. I'll take the tea though. The tea is really nice. Don't need the teacup. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just uh running around. I have no idea where I'm at or what. Oh, there's a power switch over there. Okay. I'm not getting past those jets without getting poached like an egg. Can I turn them off? Oh, I guess that's what the switches were, right? Okay. They must turn back on as soon as I uh. Yeah, there we go. Neat. Okay, that's one. Two more, I think. I keep going this way? Nope. Off I go! Alright, I have to get back out here, I guess. Alright. Yeah, I'm not even sure where I got that worker's keycard from. I think I picked it up, uh, earlier? Oh, I'd love to stay here, but I can't. Where's the door? I don't know what that did, if anything. Uh, For heaven's sake, doesn't anything work around here? No, I think doesn't. if I redirect the Motiline to power the grid... A jubilator weakness. I try to slow, slow down Peter's jubilator, like you asked, but they're robust buggers. Turns out a jubilator only has three weaknesses. One, a big electric shock. 
Two, bashing open the rear access panel, extracting the activator. Three, there might only be two, come to think of it. Obviously, none of these things is exactly subtle. Please advise. So electricity damages yeah. Jubilee. I think if I redirect the Motiline to power the grid... Doesn't anything work around here? Okay, how do I redirect the modeling? Is that what I did over in the other part? No, let's get rid of some stuff here. Um, get rid of that. This. I need all this extra food over here. Right. And it probably won't come in handy. Uh, I'll just take one of the. That. Assuming this is how I redirect it, right? Yeah, it all comes back to this. I already did the valve, and let's see. So I just follow it back, right? Oh, here we go. That's two of them down. Is there any more that I need to? I think if I redirect the Motiline to power the grid. Hmm. Do you get that one? I do. Hot dog. That's three. Boom. All right. Hot dog. Oh, big shock, right? I got a big shock grenade. Two? One more. I don't know why I'm turning on power. What is it for? No, oh, that's. This way? I don't know. Power cords go both directions. I need the switches to turn on this bloody door. All right, guess I'm going back this way. Okay, I guess it's open up that door. Right I there. sort of think this place is about to explode. Urgent joy request. Uh, I'm gonna skip over the beginning part. Dear Anton, my workers seem to have received a bad batch of joy. That is, makes them happy. Wait. I feel like that's the same stuff we've already uh, read. It's almost like a super villain layer with like the uh, the rock coming through and then also like the uh bench upgrade. Drop some stuff, Arthur, or it's gonna be tediously slow going. Yeah, I know. It's um I have plenty of rubber ducks. And I'm gonna get rid of this useful stuff. Like since I drop it, I'm gonna need it. Oh, bricks, I guess I don't need. Don't really use those. Alright, let's go up here. Oh, two elevators. What you got, bud? Worker's key card. I already have that. Um. I guess I'd use the uh, the quest marker wherever that's at to direct me. Oh no, I had to go up another floor. So the elevators come down here. Got it. I'm figuring it out. Oh, stood up just a little too soon. Son of a gun. These elevators are quick. There we go. Right, I can open that bloody door now, I hope. Yeah, I hope so too. Ooh. All right, to the other side. So I'm gonna bash up in this back thing, right? Can I do it right here? All right, well, never mind. Going up here. Reach the escape hatch. Okay. This is this a boss fight? Looks like a boss fight. You're gonna run me down with that thing! Not that you run fast enough, you rotten fool! Let's have a conversation. I'm sorry, no, I'm constructive. Let's have a constructive conversation. Oh, I got this. I got this. Um. Oh no, I. Who the hell is we anyway? Have you got some invisible? Uh, 
Where's the darn thing at? Okay, well, I thought that was gonna work. Um, Hit behind it if I can. It keeps uh. That I did not expect. No, ah, well, that's fine. He was he's a little bonkers anyway, right? It's all for the best. This is where I came from. I have no idea. Uh, let's talk to this guy. Thank God you came when you did. I didn't realize he was patriotic like that. Look, I'm, I'm doing a newspaper story uh, about how well you're all holding up down here. I think I've read that article a few times. How well are you holding up down here? On good days, we get more things working than break down. And on bad days? Like today, look, there's a big electronic board down there. Tells us what's broke. Ironically, that works perfect. Here's a diagram. Oh. Look, it's time for my tea break. ta -ra. I See you later, man. This isn't a diagram. It's a letter. A permanent solution. Okay, well, let's read that. Because Dr. Verlock keeps talking about a permanent solution. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Dear Penelope, I received your note about the latest batch of joy. You did the right thing in writing to me directly. Entre nos. <clears throat> I'm currently working on a permanent solution that will render a current joy problem obsolete. But you didn't hear it from me. Warmly, Anton. P.S. Please convey my warm regards to Richard. I've been meaning to have you both round to, uh, to dinner. It's been too long. Again? What kind of permanent solution is he thinking of? Whatever it is, I bet that's what got Gemma taken away by the doctors. Alright, and away we go. Ooh, power cell. It's not actually that impressive. Or exciting. I'm gonna sit down and watch the... What if I get to that little office over there? May as well check it out. Uh, from Penelope Snug. I'm sorry to inform you that your promotion to second shift supervisor has been denied on account of your behavioral infractions. I'm shocked, shocked to find that gambling is going on here. When Peter explained the situation to me, I had no choice but to make him supervise her instead. P.S. In light of your precarious position here, I would not be making book on any Guy Fox Day jousting tournaments if I were you. P.P.S. If you persist in proclaiming your innocence, then I suppose I don't owe you ten quid for the Grand Derby, do I? A permanent solution. Again. Uh, ooh, Peter Thump. Uh, to Penelope Snug from Peter Thump. I don't like to be a teller of tales, but Thomas Horner is the one making book on the Jubilator races. He's always tempting us to bet than taking our money. Other people's money, I mean. I never bet myself. I also believe he's monkeying with the Jubilator speed dials to fix the ra to, uh, to fix the races. Many workers, not me of course, get in debt to him and are forced to hand over their paychecks. I thought you'd want to know since you put such trust in him. Alright, well that explains what was going on down there. He cost him his promotion. Better chemistry set. No. A shock grenade. I wonder if that's what I need to kill this berserk tea kettle. Where'd you get the, uh. Oh, I could have ran up here during the fight if I didn't have a shock grenade, right? I'm assuming they had had some up here somewhere. I didn't see where. An hour or so. Promotion. To Thomas Horner from Penelope Snug. Uh, I am sorry to inform you that your promotion to say has been denied. Oh, I already read that one. Okay. Don't want the oh, shovel. Come on, you pack rat. You can't take all this with you. I'll just drop it. Uh, denunciation. Uh, okay, already read that one as well. Did I have not pick up another shot grenade? What's going on? Oh, this. Oh, nice to have. I guess I can't get over it. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's another way to get to that little office in the center of that arena. What's oh, lame? 
it's a nice little, nice little tiny room. I like this. I like this little. It's nice and cozy. Oh, well, that was weird. That's jammed from this side. Huh. Interesting. Where am I at? Alright, I'm gonna take it right. I'm gonna go to the hatch real quick. I'm gonna drop some stuff off before I go talk to uh, Mrs. Oliphant. Should probably change back into my street clothes. There we go. I don't remember which direction I was going in. It should be straight and to the right. Yep. Alright. Let's go drop off all my my knickknacks, and then we'll uh, head back to the newspaper office, which I think is on the other side of town, right? Yeah, so I have to fast travel anyway. So once again, everything just kind of works out for me. Do I have any repeat gear here? I don't need a... Oh, wait, never mind. Do I have any repeat gear here? Now, this is my inventory. Uh, I don't need the proper suit, because I have a uh, this other suit on. Doesn't bother waste rules. Well, I guess I can get rid of the uh, torn suit and use this instead. I'll hold on to that anyway. Keep it to. Keep... Yeah, I'll just keep both gas masks. Get rid of all the enhanced rocks. Oh, well, that would be nice to. Uh... Yeah, I need to take all this stuff. Slows all other characters. Ooh. Yeah, we'll drop that off, drop that off. Um, probably won't need that. Drop off one of these. Raw meat, honey. Feels good. Feel good about that. Actually, hold up. Let's take some of those, uh, a couple of these. All right. That seems good enough. All right. That's, uh, <clears throat> keep saying all right. I'm sorry. Let's it's stop saying dangerous that. Business. You step onto the tracks, and if you don't keep your feet, Look like after. Should be just right around the corner. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, nope, looks like it's all over there. I guess it's right around this corner. It says it's hacked. It's not opening the door for me. Oh well, let's go this way. Terribly busy. <coughs> what is it? Gemma's been taken away. I saw two doctors shove her into a popper. Oh my goodness. Why? But she was digging into the tunnels. That didn't come out right. I, I, I followed up. The whole underground is sort of falling apart. Oh my! That's why you sent her, wasn't it? Not to write about the tunnel, rats. I certainly couldn't print a story like that, could I? The joy's gone bad, and Dr. Verloc knows. But he's telling them not to worry. He's got some sort of permanent solution. That doesn't sound ominous at all. Well, that's sort of exactly what I thought. If I had a press pass, I could get into Hayworth Labs. And my old adulator, if you still got it. After what happened to Gemma? Dr. Verloc, 
He's sort of his own law there. I have some personal business there. If I'm not here when you get back, if you found something out, see if you can't publish it. Those numpties out there know how to put the ink on the page, but the only articles they ever read are their own. You're getting out? How? Oh, I wouldn't even know how to get out. But you never know when I might stop printing lies. And they won't like that. Great. I've got all my press stuff back. That ought to be handy. You can show up all sorts of places regular people shouldn't go. Alright, and there we go. Back to the, uh... Finally off to the main... Main quest again. Get out of the way. Copper. Alright, so go back to the... I do keep saying alright today, I'm sorry. I... It's annoying myself. Anyway, I uh, will head back to the other hatch and then off to Haworth Labs. Or Hayworth Labs. Off we go. I'll have to stop in uh, resting. Was that, was that like 8% before I fast traveled the first time? Ah. On memories cowering from the bombs with Mum, Dad, and Percy. <sighs> oh, your move, Sandman. All right, and to I think he called it Hayworth. I like I don't know. I'm, I mean, it's called it Haworth this whole time. So I just keep calling it Haworth. I'm sure no one will mind. All right, and then head just north and northeast. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. That was weird. The second time that's happened now. I'm not a fan. How many more skill points do I need to level up? Off camera, I've, I got the uh, backstabber, I think is what I picked last. I need eight more for that. I wonder how many, uh... I still haven't been to the parade yet, so I guess I still have a whole other area to go, right? The parade's over here. Howarth Labs is all that's on this side. Assuming we're going to confront Uncle Jack at some point, because I'm sure that's where they record it. It reminds me of the BBC Tower a little bit in its design. Hmm. Here to see the doctor. He does love to be in the papers. Head right on in. I told him the labs was on lockdown. They don't listen anymore. Well, you certainly like. All right. Right as rain, sir. Right as rain. I get in here. Nope, can't get in there. Alright, that's fine. I'm probably not going to loot anything in here. Oh wait, I do want that yam. Hello. Where do you think you're going then? We're not open to the general public. Bugger off! I'm interviewing Dr. Verloc. Ah, you're a member of the Fourth Estate. You've come at an awkward time, you see, as we're just in the middle of... Uh... Well, there's been a bit of excitement in the lab. Let's come back tomorrow. You're not saying something's gone wrong? No, of course not. <laughs> Everything's peachy. Look, all right, you take your press pass up to Helen in public relations. Just uh, follow the sort of brown-coloured line. I must ask you not to stray from the path, because there's all sorts of delicate machinery and chemicals and whatnot, and we don't want you hurting yourself, do we? What sort of crisis makes them lock down the entire factory? Oh, no. That looks like that's a paper I can... Here. I want you to have this. Uh-oh. Am I stuck? I'm stuck. Son of a gun. 
There we go. Whew. Oh well. Uh, what's this say? To all employees, we've had a wee accident. The constable's here to help us. Please cooperate by carrying your ID at all times, as they don't know who's who. Management. Um, yeah, sure. Oh boy. Okay. I'm sure the workers here will have the same respect for a press boss as the Bobbies did. Is this joy? Uh, is this... Ugh. Decontaminate. You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. Well, it's not like I had a choice Just here. looking. Suggestion box. Uh, to all employees from Alice Liddell, supervisor. While we all enjoy a good laugh, pranks in the employee lounge have gone out of hand. Today, Roger became quite alarmed that his uh, tea time macaroon had had made him shrink. After several employees remarked that he seemed to be getting smaller. In fact, some person or persons unknown went to the trouble of replacing his uniform with an identical but larger one. My able work time was wasted by this tomfoolery. In, in future, kindly confine your pranks to your off hours. I think like an axe, why not? I haven't seen a lot of those. Some trespassing, but I don't think there's gonna be any uh another axe. Assuming there's gonna be combat coming. Ooh, rubber ducks. Odd place to be playing with rubber ducks, but that's fine. Please. Please stand by for decontamination. Okay. Product purity is our highest goal at Hayworth Labs. The decontamination procedure allows us to maintain the highest standard of purity. Looks so glad they're concerned about purity. You have been decontaminated. Please proceed into the lab. Do not! Turn down the heat on the rominating reaction until you've noticed the temperature curve. I need to determine the explosive uh, threshold don't temperature. Think he's alive anymore. Never mind. Just grab the temperature curve and pop it in the pneumatic. A oh, stolen and engineer? I want samples of any residue on the explosive debris. Or was it the book engineer? I'm gonna take people out as I go. Because I'm trespassing. Where did you go? Oh. Don't worry about it. Okay. Just lie down. Take your finger. That door looks rather sturdy. Please don't struggle. The door does look rather sturdy, doesn't it? I have no idea how I'm gonna get in there. Uh, maybe I have to climb up. Yeah. Same room. Should be easy. Oh, what the hell? Ah, take everybody out. Mostly because they deserve it. The number one priority is to isolate the new item assembly. 
Um, secret, please burn. Okay. Work is safety. Ow! Bloody hell! Stopped and looked at his hands. So, Can't we work something out? Not a good time in the middle no. of a fight to do that, man. All right. Well, I guess. Uh... Oh, I like how twitchy these guys are. Like, no, I'm sneaking up behind him. I wonder if I put on the boiler uh, outfit if they. Which one of these controls the Not attack me. Do they both? What? I feel so chivalrous turning off that dangerous steam. If that is indeed what I did. There have better be two playful samples of the fog the next time I come down there. Just get a one gun and Oh, I need to go back that way. Boom. Look at that. Oh, some scotch never hurt. And I can't see. Maybe I can sneak past these gents without a fuss. Dr. Murlock would like all personnel to know that he must not be disturbed for the next hour at least. Please hold all inquiries until then. Resolve the situation yourself. Oh, man. Put on the gas mask and let's just put on the used, more used one. And then um, I'll take some crash. Right, so I need to take this permanently increased maximum stamina, maximum health. It's for a short time. Where's the crash? There it is. I'm going I guess to the other this room. is the latest test formula. I think I'll just take this with me. Evidence or something. Permanent solution. Drove the subject insane. Oh, Lord. A big red button. I wonder what it opens. I don't need the apple. Um, it's not be a good place to call the episode. Before I hit the big red button. Or I hit the big red button and then call it an episode. I'll finish this office real quick, and then I'll hit the big red button, and then we'll call it an episode. I think that'll, I think that'll work out for the best. Um, I feel rather brilliant right now. Can't go in there anyway. Alright, yeah, we're going to call it here, and in the next episode we'll um, head up to the third floor. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you there.